in prayer, our heart could be without words, but our words should never be without the heart. My dear sisters and brothers, as we come before God and stand in his presence, our hearts could be without words, but our words should never be without the heart. I remember a particular scene from the movie, The King and I. There is this nanny trying to teach the Chinese king, I believe, English. And she tries to impress on him the need to get the meaning of the words. And he says, why so much of fuss about the meaning of a word? And it is there that she says something very pertinent. It goes something like this. You need to know what meet, words mean so that you could mean what you say. And that is why I say it again. In our relationship with God, our hearts could be without words, but our words should never be without the heart. And the gospel of the day presents us with St. Joseph, a man who seems to have no words, a man who is always a yes to God. He is such a silent saint that he doesn't even speak his yes. And yet, what an irony that he is an embodiment, a personification of yes to God. The angel of the Lord appears to him time and again. Is it five times or seven times? Do some homework and find out for yourself. And each and every time, Joseph, we are told, would wake up and do as the angel of the Lord commanded him to do. Because his heart was without words, but his words, if ever he spoke them to God, they were never without his heart. That brings us to what Jesus said. It is not all those who say, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only those who do the will of my Father. And the gospel, in particular, according to St. Matthew, tells us time and again, right at the start itself, that Joseph always did what God wanted him to do. And so, today, I ask you, do you mean what you say to God? And do you live by what you say? Let's pause for a while and pray through the intercession of St. Joseph for this grace, that in prayer, our hearts could be without words, but may our words be never without the heart. May we hear and listen to the word of God and do what he wants us to do.